typically patients who get diagnosed with endometriosis have had the disease for 11 years before the diagnosis is made. Endometriosis is really a silent epidemic and there are so many more patients who have endometriosis than are recognized. And the greatest obstacle to diagnosing endometriosis is the vanishing laparoscopy. Doctors seem more and more reluctant to perform laparoscopy and more likely to perform in vitro fertilization. The laparoscopy is done in only 3% of patients doing IVF, when in fact 40 to 50% of patients in the IVF clinic probably have this disease. One of the advantages of having a good biomarker for this disease is that we can more accurately predict the presence of endometriosis and do it in a timely fashion, especially in our patients who have unexplained infertility or unexplained uh, implantation failure. It's a bit controversial whether endometriosis causes infertility, but in our clinic it's clear that when we treat these patients who test positive for the Receptiva DX test, they get better. We find that patients with endometriosis who have been treated are more likely to conceive either naturally or as part of the IVF process.